Hello uh, welcome back to tuning into today's video. We're going to have a look at weather for the next eight to ten days, which will be taking us towards well towards around the fourteenth of uh, February, Valentine's Day. So uh, middle of the month, it does look as though we're going to be staying unsettled. There's going to be more low pressure churning away in the Atlantic. Um, no real change to the pattern that we've been in uh, throughout the winter. It really has been a very extreme weather pattern that we've had this winter. Low pressure really driving in off the Atlantic all winter, and it's just going going on into February to the February month head forecast yesterday which you can see here on my homepage underneath this uh, video and uh, that was suggesting that we're likely to be seeing uh, some uh, unsettled conditions throughout month it was for a milder and wetter than average February and the evidence of that is just backed up uh, through today uh, as well. The charts we're going to look at are going to show you very unsettled conditions. Although maybe just hinting at something a little bit cooler uh, actually for the middle of the month. Now before I get on with the video, just to talk about the advertising. There's video ads on my pages at gasweathers.com. If you hit play on the video ads, you'll be sporting gasweathers.com. And uh, thanks very much for doing that. You don't necessarily have to sit watch the whole thing all the way through. Just hit play on the ad uh, and you're helping to support gasweathers.com. Uh, at the same time because when you do these uh, actions it, it generates a certain amount of money the website and that pays me to sit here and talk to you via the website so thanks for getting involved and uh, thanks for supporting gaslogins.com so we're going to start off with the 500 bit of our height anomaly flow chart. So we've got the uh, GFS on the uh, left, uh, the ECM, sorry, it's on the left, and the GFS is on the right. 500 millibars, 18,000 feet, so we've got weather taking place in the atmosphere, high pressure, low pressure, are developing and being moved around by the jet stream which runs above, and essentially that is what weather is, the movement of their uh, air masses by the jet stream. These are the 8 to 10 day uh, mean flow charts. This is taking us, as I say, towards around the middle of February, February uh, the 14th. Blue colours indicating below average temperature at 18,000 feet. That extrapolates to low pressure. Orange and red, that's uh, high pressure above average temperature at 18,000 feet. The British Isles is just here. And, uh, well, no real change in the pattern that we've had uh, throughout winter. We've got this deep trough of low pressure stuck in the Atlantic uh, and around and just to the west. of oh, the British Isles has very intense blue curves. Really strong jet stream running through the Atlantic as well. We're just about on the cool side of the jets as we have been throughout most of the winter. So it's been a pretty good winter for the Scottish ski resort. If you want to go on a skiing holiday, I think there's plenty of snow up across Scotland, if you can afford to go off to the Alps, it's uh, been a pretty good winter for them. Um, but that's where the snow's been, upon the Scottish mountains. It hasn't been any elsewhere, because that low pressure has been driving in rain and a relatively mild air off the Atlantic. And this goes on for the next 8 to 10 days. The, uh, the GFS is very similar. The trough of low pressure gain around the country, out in the Atlantic, a strong jet stream running south of that trough through the Atlantic as well. That's a signal for more low pressure, more outbreaks of rain, strong winds at times as well. Just a continuation of what we've had so often through this winter. So the GFS temperature ensembles and the precipitation uh, ensembles uh, back this up. Remember the red line is where temperature should be at this time of year. We're going to be around the red line uh, through the first half of February anyway, sometimes going to be a little bit below, we're actually a little bit below it today, a little bit on the cool side, sometimes going to go a little bit above it, but overall we're going to see temperatures uh, near normal. Then, let's get into the second half of February, this is the 13th of February, just here. Uh, there is a suggestion that again, we could pick those temperatures up and turn a little bit milder. This is consistently showing up within the GFS uh, temperature ensembles that we may see something a little bit milder coming up. Uh, through the middle of the month. But today's operational run of GFS, which you'll be able to look at in a moment, actually says, suggests it could turn a little bit cooler. So maybe there's a bit of a divergence about what could happen in terms of the temperatures through the middle of the month. But certainly in terms of the ensembles, the idea is to pick things up a little bit and turn them a bit milder. Whether temperatures are cool, average or mild, it's going to be very wet. All the precipitation spikes here on the bottom of the chart show that we've got copious amounts of rainfall uh, coming up really for the rest of the month. We go out to the 19th of February at the end of the ensemble just here. Still very big uh, precipitation spikes even then. So uh, yeah, big rainfall spikes uh, coming up. There's going to be huge amounts of rain, I think, across some parts of the country over the next couple of weeks. 
The temperature anomaly for the next week, the uh, 4th to the 12th of February, show that we're going to be around average, actually. Uh, not really diverging much from the average. It's turned very much milder though across most of Europe, Scandinavia, uh, back well above average as uh, they was earlier in winter. It was colder there uh, in January. Most of Europe actually on the mild side, but for us in the British Isles and uh, over towards Ireland, we're actually very much uh, near the seasonal normal. The uh, precipitation anomaly, don't often show these, but just show how wet it's going to be. Uh, well, we're going to be seeing anything uh, from around 150 to 300% of the average rainfall uh, just in the next week, the 4th to the 12th of February. And notice uh, that uh, Scotland has the uh, precipitation anomalies coming out nearer normal, whereas England and Wales, and particularly the south of England, has those anomalies uh, diverging more towards uh, the wetter side so it's wetter in the south it's drier in the north again this is a pattern that we've had throughout the winter really because the jet stream has been displaced just a little bit uh, further south than in a normal westerly winter when scotland would be at uh, the wettest it means that england and wales have been getting uh, the worst of the rain and it hasn't been quite as wet uh, further north quite an unusual pattern to be honest uh, that we've had this winter in terms of where the jet stream has been so we've got uh, another storm coming in uh, tonight and tomorrow this is the gfs chart uh, for six o'clock in the morning on wednesday a deep area of low pressure 955 millibars we have had some very very deep areas of low pressure this winter haven't we uh, battering the country so there'll be severe gales spreading across the british isles through the course of the night and into tomorrow morning and that low pressure then uh, eventually moves up towards southern parts of scotland uh, the strongest winds will be on the southern side of the low pressure, so that's uh, really for Ireland, England and Wales, a real battering of strong to gale force winds there. Severe gales around western and southern coasts, uh, of course, will have those huge waves that we've seen so often through the winter, which will uh, produce the risk of coastal flooding again, I think, around some of those uh, southern and western coastal fringes. There's also going to be a lot of heavy rain tomorrow. Uh, a batch of really wet weather coming across the country overnight and into the morning. That'll clear away uh, to the east. And then as that main area of low pressure comes in, that drives showers and longer spells of rain through across the country. Some very deep blue colours there indicating some really quite torrential rain in uh, places. It all turns a little bit more showery through the afternoon. This is 6 o'clock in the evening, but a very wet, uh, windy, wild and a uh, miserable sort of day. And then we've got problems as we move out uh, into uh, the end of the week through Thursday in towards Friday. We're going to have an area of low pressure moving up uh, from the south. So this is the chart for 6 o'clock in the morning on Thursday with this area of low pressure off the coast of Portugal at that time. There's the main area of low pressure over northern Scotland. We're going to bring all the stormy weather uh, to Scotland, uh, to the British Isles uh, tomorrow. That's sitting across Scotland at 6 o'clock in the morning on Thursday. But this next area of low pressure down across Portugal is the one that's going to bring some very wet conditions potentially to England and Wales as it moves uh, northwards. There it comes in 6 o'clock in the evening on Thursday, spreading heavy rain up from the south and then that low pressure sits across England and Wales overnight before pulling off into the North Sea on uh, Friday morning and pulling down a slightly colder uh, north to northwesterly wind. So the rainfall forecast with that shows that we've got some very torrential rain uh, coming up from the south as we move through into at midday on Thursday. There comes the rain. It pushes northwards across England and Wales by the end of uh, Thursday evening. It'll be tipping down with rain. And really, we just keep that rain sitting across the country then overnight, Thursday into Friday. It'll carry on pouring. It's still pouring at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning on Friday. So this could be heading up to two inches, maybe more in places, of rain through Thursday into Friday. Persistent and heavy rain covering much of England and Wales. Eventually that pulls off into the North Sea. Could turn a little bit wintry over Pennines as well as it moves away into the North Sea. And the unsettled weather just goes on. So this is the chart for a week away. Thursday will be the length of February. Yep, you guessed it. Another area of low pressure is in the Atlantic. That'll be throwing more wet and windy conditions across the country and then just a suggestion that things might start might start to a little bit colder there as we go through towards the middle of the month this is the final chart 
uh, for Friday the 14th, Valentine's Day, uh, we take that low pressure away to the east. We are bringing down somewhat colder air from the north, trying to build high pressure as well uh, around Iceland, but uh, I don't think that's going to last long. Uh, the next area of low pressure is bearing the Atlantic. And that would be racing in. I think that ridge is uh, very much uh, a weak ridge. It won't be able to fend off the Atlantic on uh, that sort of evidence. But uh, a slightly cooler phase may occur around the 12th or 13th. The ECMWL, again, uh, for uh, a week's time, low pressure right over the country. Moving through uh, towards day 10, uh, we just keep low pressure going really as another area of low pressure coming in on day 10, Friday the 14th, spreading more wet wind weather. It is turning more blocked up to the north and the northeast, so maybe things could cool down in the second half of the month. But it's highly speculative, and I think really we have got to just continue to concentrate on the wet conditions because there's going to be more heavy rain and it just goes on and on and on this winter doesn't it there's no sign of a break of it uh so the next eight to ten days at least staying at very unsettled more heavy rain uh strong winds at times as well no end that's it for that's it for now i'll be doing five day forecast tomorrow uh come back for that that's all for now